I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. These aftermarket parts kind of suck. They actually could really use a buff. And the two aftermarket parts I'm talking about is the Jack Purifier and the Jack Limb Ripper. These are both underbarrel attachments and they're both terrible. So I thought I'd challenge myself today and see how far I can get with both of them. All right, I think we're in the clear. Activision had to have clicked off the video by now. Check this out. They buffed the underbarrel attachments. So far, I know for sure that the underbarrel flamethrower is busted. You just saw what it did to those tier one zombies. These tier two zombies still one shots them. This is all with zero upgrades. Because recently there's a bit of a bug with these underbarrel attachments where you can kind of just drop your weapon and pick it back up and refill all your ammo. So whatever they did to try to fix that, they made this do so much more damage. So I'm gonna use this while we still can. But since the flamethrower got such a big buff, I wanna see if the chainsaw did too. Um, so far, not looking like it. What if I hold down the trigger? Oh, that's a bit better. That's actually way better. From the last time I used the chainsaw, you guys recommended that I throw on the muzzle that actually adds melee damage. I'm using this build here for our chainsaw weapon because of the whole being able to just melee with it and do damage like this. But maybe that got nerfed, but... It also just killed that zombie so fast. I'm confused. Its health bar didn't really go down at all, but it still just fell over. And here's the build I'm using for our Jack Purifier weapon. Well, like I mentioned before, with them nerfing or taking out that bug where you can drop your weapon and refill your ammo, we're kind of stuck with what we got. You start out with like 300 fuel for the flamethrower. And once it's out, the only way to refill it is to go to an ammo crate. But that's really its only downside right now because this is destroying zombies. Can I refill it with a max ammo? Okay. So maybe there's other ways. And pack-a-punching it might refill the ammo too, but we'll try that out later. So outside of just absolutely shredding things with both of these attachments, my goal is to do a dark aether run. See how it does there, get our feet wet. And then I want to do an elder sigil run. And take out an HVT. Looks like it's taking his health down pretty fast. He don't seem to like the fire. Let's give him a little tag team action. Bring out this. What are we doing now? That's still doing a little bit of damage. I don't think the chainsaw is as crazy as our flamethrower, but I think it did get a bit better. Let's uh, Aether Shroud. And we can finish him off with this. Night, night. Oh, and there's a pack crystal in case we need it later. And before we go ahead and upgrade this at all, I want to see what we can do against some tier three zombies. Is this still messing you guys up? Looks like it. Still doing some decent damage to them. Literally no upgrades. Zero upgrades to it. Absolutely fleecing these zombies out of their life until we run out of ammo. Okay, we got one more decoy though. Let's toss it. And how's our chainsaw doing? There's a fully armored tier three zombie. And it just killed them. Okay. That's it. I'm running tier three contracts this whole game. Let's just get it up to epic rarity and try to find some ammo. Give me that. Let's test out our new toy on this mega abomination. That sounds crazy, actually. Like we're sponsored by Adam and Eve. Um, he don't seem to like it too much. We still broke his face. We still don't have Pack-A-Punch either. Uh, if we can kind of dodge the laser... We can get some stuff done. We got a decent amount of health off them too. But we're already out of ammo. That's why I fight him over here. So we can constantly refill. He's already at half health. This this can do anything. This gun actually might even be able to file your taxes. He would already be dead by now if I didn't have to wait for the ammo cache cooldown. We gotta take this guy out now. We're literally playing with fire, keeping him alive. There you go. Eat up. Oh, he's so close to death. So close. All right, this should be it right here. Stay back. Oh, and he's gone. Right about... No! Mimic! Now! Okay, he's dead. Holy shit, that was stressful. I should have had that done so much faster. Oh, give me Napalm Burst. Does that help? A little extra fire for him. But this whole horde of tier 3 zombies gets actually melted by this. Still no Pack-A-Punch, by the way. Now let's take this up a level and Pack-A-Punch it to three. Oh, now it's insta-killing these zombies. This is gross. We just gotta conserve our ammo a little bit. We just gotta tap with it. A little, a little tap, tap, tap through. This is crazy. That turns zombies into a point-and-click adventure game. What's this doing against our good pal, the Stormcaller? Oh, no way. That actually might be faster than the Tomfa. That's insane. And what about all of his boosted minions? Oh, gone, gone, sleep. See you later. Goodbye. How fast can we take out an HVT a bomb with this flamethrower now? Oh, look at itself. It's just getting deleted. Already at half, less than half. 
And it is dead. Speed running. That's insane, dude. Oh, what? You wanted some? There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Oh, out of ammo? Guess what? Little decoy? You can still get some of this. How much is that doing to you? You like that? You're enjoying that? Oh, shit. Maybe he's enjoying it a little too much. Okay, maybe we're not there yet, Chainsaw. We'll get there, though. Don't you worry. Let's get our boy up to speed. Literally insta-kill now. This is crazy. I wonder if I can just walk around with this out and somehow still make it alive in Tier 3. Let's see. There's a good group of zombies right here. All gone. Deleted. See ya. Goodbye. I think the little bit of stun it does literally almost makes you invincible. As long as you're not getting hit from the back. Just don't take any back shots with this. Otherwise, you're all right. Oh, and our mega bomb friend wanted to follow us over here. I'll be right with you, sir. Just as soon as you stop shooting that laser and att attempting to murder me. What are we doing now? Oh, come on. Get there. Nope. The enthusiasm's there for sure. Oh, the self-revives are not. We got to move. All right, you win this round, buddy. So let's sell that skull and get us a self-revive. You're still following me around? I need a restraining order from you. Psych. Goodbye. Oh, is that a legendary aether tool? I got to use it on the flamethrower. This thing's already busted as it is. Let's make it even better. How much faster can I take one of you down now? You don't even feel it. I'm burning off all of his nerves. He's gone. Didn't even have a chance to shoot his laser. All right, let me grab a few self revives and we'll we'll take this first spin in the dark aether. Does this still hold up in the dark aether? Zombies, come here. Yep. Still nasty. Let's try not to waste our ammo because I don't know where all the ammo caches are on this map. I know there's some in the mall and that's it. Let's start with the bounty. All right, come here, disciple. Time to go. <laughs> that was way too easy. That's insane. Give me that VR-11. I'll happily take that. Let's activate the PND. And this might be a bit risky. But I have an idea. I have a plan. I'm gonna go up here in the crazy spot and I'm just gonna have this on. I really hope this works. So far, so good. That can't even touch me. It's just auto lock into everything. This is awesome. I don't gotta do nothing. Oh, now they're throwing meat at me. Stop that. You walk up to me like a normal zombie. Disciple, you can get out of here too. Honestly, I don't even need to be standing up on there. I can just kind of sit back and relax. Just this corner right here is enough. Easy clear. Oh, mags are holding in an elder sigil. Zombies, stop. I'm trying to loot. Give me that. Give me that. And our flamethrower is still basically full. We even have to use it that entire contract. But it's going to come in handy for this one. Let's start it off. Kind of calm. Little aether shroud to activate it. Clean. This next one, decoy. A little bit of flamethrower. And then we hit it. And this last one, we're on our own. Just me and the flames. Let's hope this gets us... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, let's hope this gets us enough to get an aether shroud, but... Chainsaw is going to have to do the rest of the work. The underdog here. Oh, slight hiccup. There we go. Okay, Aether Shroud. And this contract is over. I'll be hanging on to those. And we didn't even have to refill our flamethrower. We went through that entire Dark Aether one with just the 300 it gave us. I'd say it was a pretty successful run. Let's go try the Elder Rift. All right, Elder Sigil, let's see what you got. I only got Epic Tier on my weapon this time around, but I think we'll be all right. Hopefully. Let's start up this bounty. This is going to be a huge test if we can take this guy out. There you go. Shoot your laser. You're already doing decent damage to him. Let's just try to keep it up. We're already getting kind of low on our flames, though. Only 80 left. Come on. You know you want to die to this. Oh, shit. Okay. Plan B, run. Or if I can find another ammo cache close by, then we might be all right. Oh, we might be out of luck. I don't see one anywhere. Now I'm panicking. I don't want to cancel the contract. There's got to be something else we can do. Why are ammo crates non-existent? This throws a, a whole wrench in our plans. We might just have to take an L on this mega bomb. That's so unfortunate. It don't mean we can't complete our other contracts. Next time I'm bringing a map so I know exactly where all the ammo caches are at. All right, let's do our P&D. We got six minutes to get two of these done. I'm scared. Come on, chainsaw. Carry me. Uh-oh. It's not nearly as strong as it was before. 
What dropped? An insta kill? Thank God. I came in here too cocky and underprepared. Oh no. We've got one self revive left. If I go down again, we just have to expel. I'm not losing all this. Oh, we got through it barely. Come on, give me something good. For my troubles. Uh, that's all right. That's decent. Oh, we only got three minutes left. We have such a small chance of getting this done. We have to haul ass like ass has never been hauled before. Oh my God. The exact amount of time to get it done is the exact amount of time we have left in the game. But if I can just get this, we might be in it. There we go. Come on. We can do this. I got my Aether Shroud still. Oh, but we have to do this real fast. We don't get this done right here, right now. We need to leave. There we go. Anything good? Grab that, that, that. Oh, shit. Let's swap this out for this. And let's go. We got one minute to leave. I'm out of here. Whew. Just barely made it out. Not even know if it was worth it. We were way underprepared there. My ego got me. Now, as much as I like the chainsaw, you know what's better than one flamethrower? Two flamethrowers. We got one more challenge for this flamethrower. I want to see if I can do anything to the red worm with it. I really hope this works. This thing is almost like a pack-a-punch version of the combat bow from Cold War. It basically does the same thing as it, but from a range. But I hope it's enough range to actually do some damage to this worm. And the good thing about this fight is that we're going to be going to these ammo caches anyways. Because we're going to need to be repairing our gas mass a lot. Come on out, worm. There we go. Am I doing any damage to him? I'm getting hit markers. Where's his health at? Barely moving. Well, maybe, uh, maybe we just need to break his armor a little bit or something. Maybe we just need to get in there deep. Oh, it's really not doing a whole lot. I just used all of it. I mean, it's doing a very, very, very small amount. And even with both of these, I don't know if we can take it out. I think the VR-11 is safely still the best thing to use against this. Oh, wait, we got backup though. Hold on. Maybe we can stick this out. I think throwing a wet sock at him might do more damage at this point. This is bad. Don't you bite me. Ooh. Let's go from the inside. Maybe that's the way. That's how we do it. And I think our backup left. But he did put in a, a deadbolt turret. So there's that. Oh, but I don't think there's any beating this. The only beating going on is him to my ass. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a lost cause. I need to try to get out of here. Oh no, and he don't want me to leave. I'm being held captive. Let me out. There you go. Uh, is our car still available? It is. Give me that. Please don't break my car. Oh, shit! I'm out of here. Now, can we actually make it all the way to final exfil? I think as long as our car doesn't break here and we don't run out of gas, we'll be all right. Oh, but it's not looking like we're going to keep our fuel. Okay. Is there any cars nearby? No. We literally just have to run for our lives. We have to go 500 meters in two minutes. I, I do see the edge of the storm, though, so that's at least slightly comforting. Oh, come on. It's right there. At least let me keep my gas mask. Let me get out of here. There we go. Oh, what a, what a fucking lad. He was coming back here to pick me up. He might have left us at the worm fight, but he didn't leave us out of the game. What a legend. My hero. I wish I could just wrap my arms around his waist while he drives this bike. Just to show him how much I appreciate him. Oh. Man, that was a colossal waste of time. Well, at least I, I upgraded my axe fill a little bit. If I just played through that whole game just for that worm to big dog me. I just got G checked. I'm not going out getting bitched out by a worm. I need one more try at that elder sigil. This time we're prepared. Two flamethrowers. And I pulled up a map of where all the ammo caches are. You're not getting one over on me this time. Already cooking them. Literally. Broke his face. He's starting to get low. Let's throw another decoy. You know what? I have some thermites too. I think I missed the first one. That's fine. That's why we brought two of them. Half health. One flamethrower gone. Time for flamethrower number two. He's attacking his own kind. Oh, we're starting to get low. This is risky. Maybe I should wait for him to open his mouth. There we go. We got him. Perfect. What do we get from that? VR 11. Wow. I do not care about the VR 11 at this point, but we clean that. We just need to go and find these ammo caches. I hope this map's right. There should be one in F5 in the bottom of F4. Oh, at the stadium. That makes so much sense. 
I know exactly where those are. How did I not know this whole time? Give me that. Whoa, there's an Aether Rift in here? Since when? What? Well, I'm not complaining. That speeds this up. We're gonna do the Aether Extractor first, so I'm not stressing. We'll get this done while we still got 10 minutes on the clock. Easy. Oh, we are cleaning this. One more. Oh, shit. I had to say something. But here we go, Aether Shroud. Come on. We got it. And we went down. That's fine. What do we get from that? Oh, the stuff is... These rewards are not worth it. Give me mags of holding or just don't give me anything. So we got two of them done in basically, what, six minutes? We're on to the last one. Well, let's try to clean this without going to get more ammo. We should still just be able to kill everything pretty easily. It's like a one or two tap. We can make this last a bit, especially with our hellhound taking most of the heat. Uh-oh. We're, we're out of one, but we got a whole nother one. Two flamethrowers is definitely the move. And that should be it right there. Beautiful. We clean this rift. Oh, got a legendary aether tool. I will definitely be taking that. Oh, did they just kill my hellhound right in front of my eyes? Bastard. That's fine though. We're done. He served us well. Now let's get out of here with our loot. I'm gone. Oof. Redemption feels good. And our containment level somehow went down. That's such an annoying bug. They got to fix that. You shouldn't be punished for going to the dark aether. So to give you an overall review, the flamethrower, pretty busted. The chainsaw is also very good, but a lot more risky to use. With the flamethrower, you get at least a little bit of distance, but they're still both very good for now. So use them while you can. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.